Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of XCOM The Shift War. Past Jordi prepared a difficult mission for us, a landed large UFO with 27 aliens, but the type of aliens were acceptable. So we are going on this mission. Contact detected. We checked for uh, Annette being available in that time frame, 15 hours, but that's not happening. So we have to go on this mission without her, unfortunately. So here we go, this is the UFO, an abductor in India. We have sectoid commanders, sectoids, floaters and heavy floaters, outsiders, uh, exalts and chrysalids. Um, no such shenanigans like sectopods, mectoids, thin men, ethereals, all that good stuff is not going to be on the other side so that's the main reason we accepted this mission and as I said it's a landed UFO that means lots of stuff to be gained from here lots of resources the Let's area of it. engagement for Let's this mission will be in aliens, India. shall we we've got a fix on the alien landing site they put down in a remote area this time we should attempt to secure that craft and eliminate the hostiles why, thank you, uh, Bradford, for this rather obvious objective of ours. Alright, let's this is see, Sky. there are we directly in front of it, awesome. Strike one is ready to move on your orders. Right. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash, so expect heavy resistance. Yep. I shall expect this. Alright, so, yeah, let's just move, um, up here. It's, it's, uh, the, the usual light UFO. Uh, with its two ramps on either side, and that's how big the... Uh-oh, uh I misclicked. Well, awesome. Okay, A1, you go in front of him. Damn, I hate when that happens. You know, sometimes uh, my fingers get uh, tired or something, and they just press on the button they are resting on, and that's sometimes triggers a movement that I don't want well but it seems like on it's okay all right so everyone stick together we are on this mission with five shifts oh actually I can't get to my shifts here what 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 uh, okay time to motor move it Kali move it move it you got to move it move it all right and Maseko takes the top cover here Okay, I hear floaters. Alright. No shenanigans now. Only two moves, please. Let's move up here. No contacts, that's good. That means we are not going to accidentally trash this power source over here. So, I was going to say, we have um, on this mission five shifts, an engineer, a scout and a rocketeer. Since we are going to see that many aliens. A rocket here seemed to be a good idea. We are not going to uh, blow up a power source though. Let's not do that, shall we? Alright, I don't like standing on the ramp, but what can you do? Okay. Since we don't have any contacts, it's okay to... Oh, I actually closed this off completely to the humans. Idiot. Alright, move over here, Maseko. You are not getting cover here because it's a ram. That's how stupid rams are. Okay. Okay, Helon moves over here. Kali has to book it. Her mobility is so low. Okay, we're oh, watching everyone. What? Seriously? We have stuff here? I don't think There's so. There's something up there. Hmm. Why is it returning to this camera angle? I'm not sure. Okay. So I don't want to fight over here because power source, right? So why don't we hmm, set up here with all our ships? 
I don't like that idea, actually. Well. Let's still do it. Set up in front of the store with five ships and the humans behind it. Mukatia takes this very comfy place in between That's all the ships. Nice. I'm on it. You move over here and you take this one. On my way. Everyone. And be prepared for our first alien contact. Wait, we can't open this door with our ships. Only with humans. <laughs> no. Well. Yeah, I, I need to do this. I need to do this. So, okay, on, Helen, Commander. move away from here. Can we get you out? Yes, we can. You get you out with A4. And Kali takes Headed there your now. place. And now we can op could open it next turn. Okay. So that was a wasted Commander. turn. But it's fine. It's fine. Everyone <laughs> overwatch again. We are not in a hurry. What was that sound? Yeah, what was that sound? Let's find out next turn. Alright, this time we are going to open this door. Sweet. And... Noise. No contacts. Hmm. That's interesting. So, does that mean we can pass through here without getting any contacts? That would be okay-ish in my book. Okay, Helen, move Commander. over here. Let's prepare for that. Full code. You move over here. You take this one. You take this position. And then we will move through here next turn. With the shifts. Okay, A1 takes this position. You move over here. Wonderful, and the engineer can move over Moving. here. Wonderful, Kali. I feel Overwatch, everyone. I think we should make sure that a human can go here or here to open the door next turn. So A1 takes the position in front of the door. No additional contacts. Awesome. So V3 takes the side. A4 takes this one. Wonderful. We'll move over here, V2. Kali, can we pl place you Let's here? Let's do this. Yes, thank you. And A4 gives more power in this direction. Wonderful. I don't want to hide behind the power source. That is a bad idea in my book. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we'll move over here. Okay. We'll steady the weapon on the Rocketeer and then run out. Alright, I think we are going to have some contacts next turn. Why is it going here? That's just a leaf flying in the wind, right? It's not something Contact. mind melody. Oh, look! Look! You're running into those combat specialists. A lot of them. Let's let's just hope that they don't empty my ma magazines. All right, so lots of lots of these dudes. Uh, let's see. I guess at least one of them will have lightning reflexes. So look. You don't. You 
also don't. You will have lightning reflexes. Yes, the first thing that we see, lightning reflexes. Okay. How about you? Nope. Okay. But there are more than just four. Right? Do you see the other one in the back? Yes. So you also don't have lightning reflexes. So it's one guy with lightning, lightning reflexes. And who can see him? Let's see. You see him? Or it, rather. You see it as well. That's good. You don't? You obviously do see. Yes. Okay, I have three shifts that sees the monster in the back that we need to kill. That should be enough, hopefully. Okay, how about my Rocketeer? That, that might, might be a good rocket here, actually. But I'm not wasting a rocket on... Um, on chrysalids. I don't think I need to do this. Although that will solve this problem. <laughs> Alright, we can we can we can return to you if 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 necessary. If necessary. Alright, so do we have a holder target that I can shoot first? Like A1 of course. Yeah, A1 can do it. So 86%. Okay. That was a nice clean hit. Actually, we can shoot with our scout. For 69%. But well, we are way too close here. Hmm. Maybe I should hide behind the power source here. I'm not sure though. I don't like that idea too much. I could move over here, but then I can't shoot. I could move over here, but then I don't see the enemy. Huh. Okay, I've decided power source. I mean, it's just chrysalids, right? So now I get a 97% chance of hitting. I like that. And I would also prefer to... Did hit and run trigger? Yes. I would also prefer to um, not use too much ammunition on my ships because of close combat specialist that I want to use. Them off. So lightning no reflexes are gone on the enemy. Wonderful. Uh, let's shoot this one here with A5. The only one that we see. Do it. Sweet. For 10. I like. Maximum animation speed, please. Uh, let's see. Whom do you see? You see the one here in front of us. You see this one and this one. I think there is a problem with um, close combat specialist here though. If they move uh, close to the wall and then step into sight with only one move, I, d I doubt that will actually trigger close combat specialist. Okay, I will shoot the one that I only I can see here, right? That we can see here. Good. And I will shoot again. Maybe we can actually get rid of it. That leaves me with one close combat specialist still. Cool. 100. Oh, I can actually uh, kill the three health guy with the Sten gun. Let's do it. Yes. Sten gun uh, MVP. Sten gun MVP. All right. Two ships. Uh, two enemies remain. Wait, you don't see anybody? B2? <gasps> uh oh. That's no good. Okay. That was a good hit. Four health remain. Well, and we can only go on Overwatch with the last ship and with the engineer. Okay, let's see how close combat specialist works now. But I think A1 is going to... 
get some damage here. For nine, oh god. But this guy is going to run into close combat specialist, isn't it? See? Oh, we missed! No, how could ya? Kill it, kill it, kill it! What? Yeah, there you go! <laughs> Did you see it fly out of the camera angle? <laughs> Perfect. Wonderful. Yeah, why are you going back so so far? Aha, uh -huh, okay. So I really did not appreciate the 9 damage on A1, I have to say. Problem is, because of A1, this guy is getting... Oh no, okay, Chrysalids are never getting cover bonuses, right? Yeah, okay, good. Well, in this case, I actually can have A1... Oh, actually, A1 needs to reload. Who has the maximum amount of ammunition still? You have B2B. You could, because you couldn't shoot last turn, right? You could also try to kill it with humans. I would actually prefer that. 60%. Position confirmed. 82%. That's better. Let's do a hit and run triggers. And Hostile it's gone. Fight. Got no ammo. Yes. But you can reload oh, yeah. because of hit and run. And everybody else also reloads. Except for the engineer. Kali. We're green to go. Green to go. Ah oh, damn it! Just did it. I wanted to repair A1 with the engineer first before I do anything. That was too quick. So how many how many I think that was six, right? So 21 aliens remain. And we came out of this pretty well. Repair the ship. Yes, this one. Do it. No more joyrides for you. No more joyride for you, whatever that means. Okay, let's have a quick look. Six aliens killed, yes. Hmm. A1. Where do we want to go? I want to very cautiously... I can't go to this... I can't in, in... Inhabit this tile. Interesting. I don't know why, but that that's how it is. Okay, very cautiously advance. And the others stay close. Okay, we triggered outsiders and stuff. Okay, I want to go back to my old position here. Thing is, uh, this time they can shoot us, right? So that's no good. Let's see, how are we going to get sight on this one with my uh, sniper? Well, only if we move here. Or here. Rather here. On the move over here and have a 50 50 chance yes we did hit excellent so 20 percent chance and 45 percent chance I think it might be better to not stand immediately in front of the door. And I want to give some cover to my uh, scout here as well. So we move like this. And then we move back in front of the scout. Like so. These two don't see anybody. Okay. Engineer did move this turn, so there are no smokes that we can move, that we can throw. Overwatch, Overwatch, and Overwatch. And I'm going to steady my weapon down here. Alright, everyone is back to full health. 
So incoming damage. Can be dealt with. Okay, he missed. It missed. More outsiders. Ouch. So they, they see this one. And they see this one. Okay. Well, he's going to regenerate, right? Yeah, the four damage that I did with my uh, scout. Still 58%. What if we start flying? Then we won't see, him, uh, see it anymore. Okay. We could also move out and flank the sectoid commander. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Let's try this. We are moving out. We are seeing... Oh god. Oh god, all my armor is gone. And we took it even more. That is the worst. Shit, 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 shit. So now we are seeing three guys. And they are, don't... Are, they're even not close to each other so that I could use, uh, shoot a good rocket or something. Okay, uh, I, I became really uh, silent here for a second because I have to rearrange my shifts here a little bit. We have to give up this position here because they see the shift here right next to the door. And we need that to switch uh, or cycle through the shifts that uh, lost their armor. into a better position, like so, for example. Now A1 is still here. Yeah, the thing is with shooting um, the sector commander right now is um, they have regeneration on them. So, only shooting with one is not going to cut it. We don't have anybody else that can shoot at him right now. Or do we? Actually, we do. 64% chance. How much damage do you do normally? Seven damage. Okay. I could also repair a ship. Like A1. Or this one. A1 still has six armor left. Now nah, I'm going to repair A1. There you go. Oh, we needed to throw the smoke. God damn it. Just remembered that I have to do this. God damn it. Another round of damage coming in. And oh, I actually have line of sight to... What's this? Is this another... Uh-oh.
How do I have line of sight to this to this dude down there? Oh, because of cover, I can step out of here. Interesting. Could destroy this guy's cover. With a rocket. Nah. Nah. Let's just steady the weapon again. Damn, I could... The I could slap myself for forgetting the, the the smoke that I need to throw here. So, um, Scout and A1 can shoot at the guy back here, but the chances are really not that great. So I think what I want to do is I want to suppress the one in the back. A1. Here you go. Now the scout has a two and three times hitting, but that will just be regenerated again, right? So we will steady the weapon for the next turn and we here go on overwatch. Oh, more aliens, yes, that's what we needed. Okay, A damage to that floater. AKA heavy floater, yeah, there you go. Okay, sectoid ineffective. This guy is suppressed and missed. Good, good, good. What are these guys doing? Okay, they're coming closer. Whatever that is going to achieve. Oh, we missed the two and three times. 70% even. Okay, he stepped up here and went on overwatch. Okay. No smoke was needed this turn. Wonderful. Now we can throw a smoke. Who else is seeing the guy? You don't. You also don't see this guy. And he's about to flank my rocket here. Only one guy, only one, only A5 is seeing the heavy floater in the back. Floater Reaver. Mm -hmm. And two guys are seeing the sector commander here. 
Interesting. I'm sad that I'm not getting a better opportunity to use Helen's rockets here. It's really bad, I feel. As I said, I can hit the the uh, oh uh, the outsider in the back here and remove its cover. That's a thing. And then we could possibly uh, kill it with um, hit and run on the scout. But I'd rather have I'd rather move with my. Uh, Rocketeer here because this guy is incoming. Okay, I have a three and four chance of hitting the guy that wants to flank us. I did. Nice crit there. Awesome. We're the only one that sees the guy in the back. Not even Helen sees him. That's because of this thing here in the way, right? Of course. All right, Helen, move over here. Oh. Whoa, what? Is this guy floating? Look at that. What? Adaptive bone marrow, muscle fiber density, that's all. Yeah, well, that will be regenerated if I hit, right? So, that's uh, strange. Um, I will go on Overwatch with Helen. I think that's the better decision. Overwatch. So, Engineer definitely needs to throw the smoke now. There you go. Smoke's out. Good. And I think I want to shoot the sector commander now. 50-50 chance of hitting. There comes a covering fire and they miss because we stand inside smokes. And we did hit! Excellent! So we have a chance, although it requires 9 damage. Maybe we can do it. Three and four chance with a crit. Hey, with a normal hit. Down. Excellent. Wonderful. Minus one sector commander. That's good. <clears throat> so, if I were to step out of my position here and move like over here. In the midst of the cloud hopefully hmm, I want to have a shot at this guy in the back that's what I really want that will trigger at least this overwatch if not the other one as well let's see if that uh, is going to happen I'm still inside the smoke okay I get hit for five And I get a 50-50 chance of hitting. Do it. Yes! Ah! Still not, still not down. Still not down. So that's A1 here. And we still see the guy in the back. What can we do on you? Not much. Let's see if we can see the guy again Ugh, from here. A 50-50 chance. Do it. 
It's better than nothing. There you go! Yes, nice. And we want to suppress the outsider again. That means we won't have um, ammunition on A1 next turn, but that's fine. Okay, what do we do with you? You're still giving cover to the NTP. Some repairing going on. Oh, I have to make a cut here, guys. Okay, that shot missed because we suppressed. Okay, <laughs> the outside is no longer floating. Bo, he hits me inside the clouds. I don't like that. Now I am um, went into my squishy health. Well, uh, thank you so much for watching the first episode of this large UFO. And I hope you will see the maybe conclusion in the next episode. Bye!